This video is to sh show the user how to update and merge a revised project. So the idea being if a revised building model or updated project is going to be imported from Revit or any other 3D bit of software that produces GBXML, we want to be able to manage the update and merge it without having to delete all the existing profiles and rooms. So here we have an existing building. So the first thing to do is to bring in the revised DXF floor plans first. That's very important because that sets the extents in which to enable you to import the geometry. Do the geometry first, and it falls outside the extents of the layout, you can't do it. So the first thing is to go to the Manage DXF and select your revised DXF floor plan to reflect the new building footprint revised model. Obviously, Generally, building model footprints will be a little bit more subtle than this. This one's been designed purely for visual purposes to get the point home, but ideally, normally what would happen, floors or rooms would subtly change, so it wouldn't be as obvious as this. But this is a good example to show you how to upgrade. So we'll pick that second floor. OK, so we've now set the extents. We've got our floors in here. Notice. Now we've got the revised extension, we have internal partitions. So we would visit each of the rooms on each of these floors affected into the face data. Go and select the affected wall or partition and change it. So that's now going to be temperature difference. And I'm going to do the same in the other space as well. Changing that. So we now have an internal partition. So we'd go to visit each floor and do the same thing. What we then do is on the file menu we reintroduce the revised geometry so we go and find the revised file pick up the new xml file and also there's an option if you notice there's an option here called remove revit room number prefix from space name while it's loading i'll tell you about that effectively what can happen is as rooms are edited deleted and moved around in revit the automated number that's generated can change. So we don't want the number affecting the mix and the program's ability to pick up the room. So we only really look at the room name. So we can get rid of that. And there's our rooms. So there we can see it's finished reading. So in CYC no means those are new ones. Status new. One of them can't be bought in for some strange reason. GBXML isn't perfect. Um, it'll get you 95% of the way. There's another room there that won't import. No changes. So these are all existing rooms. So you can see it's being merged effectively. The rooms are being merged. We then import. And that will then bring in all of those revised and updated rooms. And of course, if any of the existing rooms had changed and two would become deleted, become one bigger room, the status would be reflected on the input. Uh, table. So we now have our upgraded model. If we go to the display room review, we can see all our existing profiles, but now we have all our, you'll find all the new spaces that have been bought in are now labeled unassigned. So you can see all those unassigned profiles in there. So what we need to do now is go into the edit global room editor do a search on unassigned and then assign the profiles as you would normally so we've effectively merged the model so we go and pick unassigned on the profile listing and then just grab the spaces and suit and select the profile to suit the space so those are all offices Grab those and say so those are going to be based on cellular offices and update them accordingly. So now when we go to any of these rooms, of course, we could still visit them individually if you wanted to. Those are now cellular offices. So that's how you actually merge the project. You effectively introduce the revised footprint, bring in the revised GBXML geometry, It'll compare it with the original. Any room names that are the same will not be imported. Any room names that are different will be. Um, any room names that are not changed but have become a bigger space will be picked up for that fact. 
unchanged. So the status will be listed on the update. So um, we've developed this to make it a bit more seamless in terms of updating emerging projects, which is quite a frequent occurrence. So hopefully this will help you um, move forward with the project as it progresses.